What are we recording here? Okay. As you can see, I did a little bit of work on this Epiphone line. Right here, I put in a kill switch for the hamburgers. What I did, I split the coils here. There are series coil, not parallel coils. And this is what I did here. Right there. Focus here. Bring out. There's my wires. Switches there, I had to turn this one off to the side. Hook up the original humbuggers. One wire there, two here. Go here, and the second one goes there. And it sounds, you can hear the difference. This is what it is. You can see this picture. It's either white or red wire come out. And you got a wire here joining the two together. You got two negatives each from each coils so all I did was break the two in here and ran a wire but you have to use this wire that wire I used shield it wire you have to use shield it wire you can't use ordinary wires you can be shield it so as you can see in this picture here There are Seymour Duncan's actually. But you get your two wires come out. You get that those two together, but that's the, that orange wire there, might as well say. And I just hooked it to the switch. On which was grounded to the volume. One of the volume, you have master volume grounded right there. You got to ground it. And then hit, hit the switch. Hit the switch over there. <clears throat> hit the switch. Right now it's on. Off. Two of them working. Only one working. Anyway, I thought I'd just record that for you. You can see that. And yeah, so I'll show you my other guitar. Which I purchased. It's an Epiphone Les Paul Pro Standard. Standard Pro, Flip Top Pro. It's got those split coils here. There, there. Split the coils. So I decided to do it with my cheapy special too. And it works. Limitations in right, the next in right. Get it all set up and it plays great. Anyway, over and over. Hope you like the video. If not, to bed.